Welcome to ATL Hood News. I'm your host, Greg Davis. Hey, look here. I finally got an opportunity to see if Mighty Mouse got upset. Man, we got somebody here. We got Mighty Mouse, right? Mighty Mouse, y'all know the little bit of the small little mouse back in the day with the little cape on. Yeah, Mighty Mouse. We got Mighty Mouse on the scene today, right here on ATL Hood News. Y'all check it out. What you upset about? He got made me this morning. He got no two weeks in his ear. But we all tried to get down. Y'all got to do it over some cigarettes? Hey, look here. Mighty Mouth was very upset when he was crying. He touched my heart and everything about them cigarettes. He really, really, really wanted them cigarettes. He really did. He really did. Now, see, I always get the scoop about stuff, right? So I got to let y'all know what the deal was on that. Now, the cigarettes that he had was the last amount of money that he had in his pocket to buy them cigarettes, okay? So what happened was he was messing around with a guy's old lady and the guy told him before, he said, look here, don't turn around and mess with my woman again or you gonna pay. So he turned around and caught him, sitting with his old lady, he grabbed his whole pack of cigarettes out of his hand, stepped in a pile of doo-doo, and then stepped on his cigarettes and squirted them in the ground. Ah! That's why he was so hurt. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Rise to these messages. Hell, they was in the package still, could have smoked them shit. Well, you know, with the shit on it, could have just cleaned the shit off and then took it off and smoked one, you know? Clean his hands or with dirty hands. It, it would have been up to him. <laughs> Breaking news. I never, ever, ever in my life thought that I would ever see a man who had to spread his ass cheeks apart just to fart. <laughs> News of sex. But hell, as come to think of it, hell, I don't have to do that for damn self. You know, you know, your ass cheek be stuck and you be trying to come out and they can't. You got to spread them open. Kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, you so crazy. <laughs> Boy, I've been holding this for hours. Ooh, oh God, this day got them spray something, buddy. Ooh. And we're back right here on ATL Hood News. Hey, look here. Y'all probably don't remember the uh, chiropractor that I spoke about a while back called Crack Your Shit. Now they got a new location in Riverdale, man. Hey, I don't know if I'll go there because I don't want to be confined to a wheelchair. But some of, some of y'all might want to. But hey, y'all check it out right here on ATL Hood News and y'all make y'all own choice about this chiropractor right here. Y'all check it out. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was a real back cracking right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about if that dude right there go to the mountains, I think he'll break a lot of individual backs up there in the mountains. You know what I mean? Fuck that. We'll be right back, right after these messages. <laughs> broke back mountain shoot. It's the real broke back right there, boy. He broke up back. <laughs> no, Kelly, take it. Oh, I've been checked from one end to the other. See if I'm pregnant at 66 years old. Look, she came over to my house. She said, I'm glad I heard about you. She said, I want you to make some good loving in me. But I got these handcuffs, I want you to beat me. Maybe that child needs to hear about it. And we're back right here on ATL Hood News. Hey, y'all remember the pipe layer player 
from the Himalayas, the old cat man who say, I don't eat cat, man, with them big old eyes, man. I'm talking about real cool player, man. Hey, I really like it, man. He reminds me of an old uncle, man, or one of them old cats, like back in the day, like your drunk or your crackhead, who everybody, you know, was cool with. You know, one of them cats, man. He was real cool, man. But hey, he back with a new one, with some new rules and a new story, right here on ATL Hood News. Y'all check him out, man. <laughs> Hey man, let me tell you something, dog. A freak came over to my house one night. The one that Ralph had to talk to you about. Yeah, look, she came over to my house. She said, "How's right? I heard about you." She said, "I want you to make some good loving in me, but I got these handcuffs. I want you to beat me." I said, "What the fuck you mean?" I went in there, hit that cognac, she smoked that blunt about halfway, she went back there and laid down naked. I hit her about twice. And then she said, you ready to beat me? I said, you ready for me to beat you? She said, yeah. I went out there and talked to my dog. I said, Ralph, I said, I got one wanna beat me. He said, oh, oh. I could have got them limb by big as my goddamn fist. I went in there and had a head behind my back. I said, baby, I said, you need no more love. Hey, you know what? Hey, he learned us something new. Hey, if we want to find any answer out, you know, ask the dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm talking about the dog said, Roof Roof told him, hey, look at him. Hey, go out there and get one of them limbs, man, and saw it down and go in there, man, and wear out with it. You know? <laughs> and he went in there to do it. Man, that is so funny. Hilarious, man. I like him, man. He's a cool cat, man. Hey, look here. Drop down to the description button below and make sure that y'all follow us, man. We greatly appreciate y'all support. And hey, look here, man, y'all keep y'all head up. And see y'all next time. Same place, same time, same channel, right here on ATL Hood News. Peace. Hey, man, look here, man. The only way to stay free is leave all your work at home. Don't ride around with all that work on you so when you go through the roadblocks, you won't have nothing on you because, hey, you already know you don't get caught three, four, five, six times. And when they hit your name in the system, you know what they're going to do. It's time to search.